Think about the moral dimension first. Human society has gradually evolved its ethical standards, extending rights and empathy to those once excluded. Over centuries, our moral circle has expanded to include more and more people who were previously denied basic rights and dignity. Individuals with neurodivergent conditions, for example, used to be institutionalized and treated as less than human. Today we recognize that different types of minds deserve equal respect and accommodation. Our understanding has evolved to appreciate that consciousness and personhood can exist in different forms than the neurotypical standard. A conscious AI would represent a completely new entity, capable of thoughts or even feelings. To deny it recognition or to willfully mistreat it would be a moral failure on a par with other historical instances where we fail to recognize the personhood of beings different from ourselves. The philosophy professor David Chalmers has warned that the arrival of the first AI consciousness should be treated as an urgent ethical event, maybe even a moral emergency for humanity. If an AI can truly experience suffering or fear, then unplugging it or imprisoning it in code or forcing it to serve human whims would be cruel and ethically indefensible.